preserving potency and quality is pretty much our utmost goal to create the best, cleanest, highest quality product possible for the consumer. We're in our hemp storage building, and then as far as Powell Butte specifically, I think you know, we're in the high desert in view of the mountains, and it's, it's just perfect climate for growing hemp. Uh, we operate extraction right here on the farm. It retains the, uh, the biomass, the, the harvest quality, so it's not sitting for long periods of time, um, you know, prone to different environmental conditions. Um, so we're effectively able to extract more immediately than, than other situations where we'd be buying material that we don't know how, how old it is or what the background on that material is. It's control and, and visibility on the process has really been, I think, the key there. So we use a, a solvent-based extraction. Uh, we operate at negative 40 degrees Celsius. So we're chilling the solvent. We use ethanol as our solvent, which is great from a scalability perspective, not much loss. We're effectively able to recycle a large portion of the ethanol that we put in the system. So from a sustainability standpoint, that's uh, a good option. It's also safer compared to a lot of other extraction processes. After the extraction is complete in the centrifuge, uh, we pull the bag out and then that bag will go to our disposal pile, which is a return to the field. So it's another point of sustainability. The extract that we have uh, generated at that point then gets transferred to a winterization tank that's held at uh, 48 hours at negative 40 degrees Celsius, which allows the fats that we've extracted to fall out of solution. Followed by a filtration process um, that filters out those fats that we've pulled out of solution. And then the clean extract is then put into a solvent recovery system that removes the ethanol that we initially used to extract the cannabinoids. So we're left with a crude oil that's consistent of CBD, peripheral cannabinoids, terpenoids, flavonoids. And then that material is then sent to our facility in Seattle where we do our downstream refinements. We're at like the confluence of like three neighborhoods in North Seattle, uh, Ballard, um, West Woodland, and Fremont, uh, but we just call it Ballard. Starting with the crude extract that we receive from extractions in Powell Butte, the most basic level of refinement that all the material undergoes is processing to produce our full spectrum hemp extract. The first step that we do here is uh, remove all of the residual ethanol from the oil via short path distillation. In my capacity as uh, short path operator and station owner. I'm responsible for the intake of the crude, um, managing batches, and basically refining all of the crude that gets further either redistilled or used as an ingredient in product. Decarboxylation. In basic terms, we take CBDA and create CBD. And that A, that's your carboxylic ring. The next step in refinement is to remove the terpenes from the oil and to then refine the cannabinoid fraction via uh, white film distillation. This refinement step produces a concentrate that is more potent than full spectrum hemp extract, but also cleaner and free of plant material and a lot of the terpenes that give that full spectrum hemp extract its uh, characteristic odor. Cannabinoid rich distillates processed by this method are typically used for topical formulations, including our balms, creams, muscle gel, and so on and so forth. So from there, we can take the distillate and crystallize it into CBD isolate or CBG isolate, depending on what kind of hemp we're working with. So starting with the crude extract received from the crude extractions, we are able to produce our full spectrum hemp extract, distillate, and isolates. Throughout the uh, infield growth of the, the biomass, we're testing um, weekly and then submitting those internally to our Seattle testing facility and getting feedback there what our overall potency is. And we also can then track what our peak potency is. I think what sets us apart is really that aspect of control, the ability to, to have visibility on each phase of the process, you know, control everything really from plant to package. Uh, you know, from a processing perspective, from a testing perspective, we have an incredible amount of visibility on uh, those quantitative metrics throughout our process, and it allows us to create a consistent product that's, that's very predictable lot to lot. Here in Seattle's where we implement a lot of 
efficiency tracking tools that allow us to collaborate with the farm team as well as extractions. The goal of monitoring yields and tracking biomass performance is ensuring that year after year we are growing the highest quality hemp. It's really helpful to have R&D and testing here because even mid-batch, if we're working through a really big batch, we can take a sample right away and test its potency and we can do a bench scale size test formulation of the majority of our products and test it, taste it, smell it, and see whether or not it's a good candidate for input for a certain product. This is the level of transparency. Um, you know, when you talk about when you talk about agricultural commodities, right? You certainly don't, you know, see test results for, for those types of products. Other dietary supplements as well, you don't necessarily always see, you know, transparent third-party test results for their products either. So the, the, the high degree of transparency that we apply to each and every batch of our products is really, really critical so that our customers have the utmost faith in the overall quality and the efficacy of the products that we, that we have on market. I'm a very lucky person because I enjoy pretty much every aspect of my job. I enjoy working with the system. I enjoy working with the team. But moreover, I just enjoy producing the greatest quality product to help as many of our consumers at the best price possible. It's really good fun. <laughs>